What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be going over the top five sneakers that I do not recommend getting. These are all sneakers that I regret personally purchasing myself. You know, I'm always recommending what sneakers to buy, what might be the shoe of the year, but today we are going to be switching things up a little bit. Let's get right into it. So first sneaker that I regret purchasing that I do not recommend getting, we got the Nike collaboration between John Elliott and LeBron's, the icons right here. I'm not going to lie, man. When I first heard about this sneaker, I was super pumped. You know, Elysia brand mixing in with Nike basketball but this is why they have made the list all right because of my expectations and what I actually received crazy he's got to be like the biggest let down as far as a collaboration with LeBron go I mean you basically dropped the ball on capitalizing on an opportunity to have a dope hype sneaker and I mean you came up with these these got to be like a Nike basketball team so you know like the the sneakers that the whole team has because you got the whole discount because the whole team got them and everything these remind me of those and if you took out the little bit of just the little bit of hype that these have you know through Instagram and LeBron promoting them or whatnot these these will just be the most regular sneaker on the planet. I gotta say, man. And I gotta say, man, these are going straight up on StockX. Biggest letdown collaboration. I wanted to like them, like I said, but I just can't do it, all right? So for the first sneaker that I regret purchasing, that I do not recommend, I mean, a lot of potential. That's why they're on the list because of that letdown. We got the Nike LeBron icons right here with John Elliott. All right, so for the second shoe, I gotta start this one off with an apology to you guys. Not too long ago, Tan and I did a review on these Kobe's right here, and we actually gave them a decent review. I can't believe it. And that's because we were only playing in them for a couple of weeks before making the review. But a few months later, I gotta say, these gotta be the worst Kobe's I've ever played in in my life. That's the heavy <laughs> statement. Basically, if you wanna hoop in a Nike Flyknit Racer, play in these Kobe's right here. I mean, you got a $200 price tag, got them from Nike Town for $220 after tax. These are terrible sneakers, especially with so many affordable basketball sneakers on the market right now. You got the Kyrie's, you got the PG ones. These pretty much feel like you're gonna break your knees every time you jump kinda high. That's how much little stability and like support these sneakers have right here. Every time I'm hooping in these sneakers, I feel like this little ounce of regret in my heart for recommending these to you guys. This is kinda like actually what is this video right here I was like I gotta tell my audience the truth man these sneakers suck all right my bad guys for recommending these I mean these are trash all right I'm gonna be selling them if you want to rock these for a lifestyle first sale hundred bucks hit me up but just do not hoop in these all right Boom. All right, so third sneaker up. I bought these about a year ago. I'm not including these because the sale ones just came out. I'm saying these do not age well after you wear them a few times. We got the white on white Travis Scott Air Force Ones right here. And there's a reason I think Nike does not use this canvas material a lot. It's because after you wear them a couple of times, the creasing on these looks hideous like I've only worn these a couple of times and you could already see right here the creasing has like stayed as almost if I like ironed the creasing into the sneaker don't get me wrong they're a beautiful sneaker dead stock brand new but I mean look at two times this is two wears ladies and gentlemen and they already look like this I gotta say these are the worst sneakers if you actually want to wear and tear I mean and the canvas material gets super dirty easily there are certain sneakers that look better with creases don't get me wrong like the Jordan ones maybe some threes but these aren't it chief so there we have it we got the Travis Scott Air Force Ones just take this into consideration if you guys are considering the sale ones that just dropped all right so for sneaker number four you guys see the off-white box I know this might throw some people off guard this is actually the third time I bought this sneaker I bought the original colorway then the white colorway and now this pair right here. We got the off-white Vapor Maxis in the black. And I'm not going to lie, Virgil, you kind of catfished us with this one, all right? These look a lot better in the photos than they do in person. I'm not going to lie, all right? These... <sighs> I mean, for 650 bucks resale price, these are terrible in person. In this video, I'm officially saying I am not a fan of wearing the Vapor Maxes, the regular ones, the off-white ones, Vapor Maxes in general. If you guys see me in the street wearing a pair of Vapor Maxes, I will personally take them off and give them to you, all right? This is my promise. I'm officially stamping it. I do not like Vapor Maxes. This upper right here has like no stability. You barely get that off off-white look I mean these are just a waste of money in my opinion I think they look dope in photos but in person these aren't it so there we have it let's move on to the last sneaker on the list 
All right, so for the last sneaker I do not recommend getting in 2018, I got the Nike React Elements right here. These are actually the ones Tan purchased from Stadium Goods recently in our video, and I gotta say these are very underwhelming in person. What I actually don't like about them is how cheap they feel. I mean, like, you've got this upper right here. I know it is clear, so it is gonna be a little bit thin, but this thin, like, this, you could basically tear this apart if you wanted to. And for like a tech athletic sneaker, I would expect these to have a little bit more materials, something more like the Akron Impresto's or a lot of Jordans. Like these, they feel super cheap and flimsy up top right here. I mean, like I think retail should have been like 75 for these. If there was no hype surrounding these, these would be sitting in stores. I mean, I try to like them, even the new colorways. I try to like the new colorways, but I mean, just feeling them in person, man. So with all that being said, for 2018, I gotta say the Nike React Elements are the worst sneaker release of the year, all things considered. You know, the hype, the price, everybody camping out for them or whatnot. Nike, you know, I, I, I'm pretty hard on Adidas sometimes, but Nike, you have to get your fair share too. I was gonna do the same thing I did to the Kobe's, but you know, these are tan sneakers. I don't want him to get mad. I'm gonna just put them in the box. For him, but I gotta say the Nike React Elements worst sneaker of 2018. All right, guys, thanks for checking out that top five sneakers that I do not recommend. And just having them in front of me right now, one thing I realized is they're all actually Nike. So I mean, 2019, I might have to hop back on the Adidas train. And you guys know how I feel about Adidas. I mean, is Easy coming out with any more heat? Let me know. All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for checking out that video. Some of these sneakers will be for sale. Hit me up on my social media. Follow my Instagram. I think I'll be selling these for 450 I think the Travis Scott's are gonna be like 180 Kobe's 100 bucks um tan I might even sell these sneakers for 10 right here the, the LeBron's don't get me started on the LeBron's man all right that's pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think of these sneakers let me know some other sneakers that you guys regret purchasing in your life and until next time I'm out peace all right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys check out this video. Also, check out this video. Like I said, follow me on my social media. Hit me up if you guys are interested in any of these sneakers for deals. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.